2. Key for Schools 1. Tests 1 to 4. Published by Cambridge University Press and Uckles, 2019. This recording is copyright. CD1. Test 1. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. How did Stan and his dad get home from the concert? How was the concert, Stan? You look tired. I am. It was great, but Dad and I got home really late. Isn't there a train station near the concert hall? There is, but there are no trains after 10 o'clock. And the taxis were all busy, so we got a bus. It took so long. Next time, I'll wait for a taxi. Now listen again. How was the concert, Stan? You look tired. I am. It was great, but Dad and I got home really late. Isn't there a train station near the concert hall? There is, but there are no trains after 10 o'clock. And the taxis were all busy, so we got a bus. It took so long. Next time, I'll wait for a taxi. Two. What's the girl forgotten? Why are you back home so soon? You should be on your way to the swimming pool. I know, Dad, but I forgot something. Oh, do you need more money for the bus? Thanks, but I've got enough. When I got to the pool, I looked for my swimming costume in my bag but I only had my towel. Now listen again. Why are you back home so soon? You should be on your way to the swimming pool. I know, Dad, but I forgot something. Oh, do you need more money for the bus? Thanks, but I've got enough. When I got to the pool, I looked for my swimming costume in my bag, but I only had my towel. Three. What will the boy do first after he gets home from school? We're going to stay with my cousins tomorrow. Are you all ready to go? Almost. Dad has to pick up the train tickets, and as soon as I get in after lessons, I have to help make sandwiches for the journey. Have you packed? I've almost finished. I won't need many clothes, and I can do it later tonight. Now listen again. We're going to stay with my cousins tomorrow. Are you all ready to go? Almost. Dad has to pick up the train tickets, and as soon as I get in after lessons, I have to help make sandwiches for the journey. Have you packed? I've almost finished. I won't need many clothes, and I can do it later tonight. Four. Where did the girl find her phone? I couldn't find my phone for four days. I looked everywhere. I never take my phone to school 
but I even looked in my classroom desk. Oh, bad luck. It was actually in the back of my dad's car. I saw it when he gave me a lift to school this morning. Maybe it fell out of your bag. Yeah, maybe. Now listen again. I couldn't find my phone for four days. I looked everywhere. I never take my phone to school, but I even looked in my classroom desk. Oh, bad luck. It was actually in the back of my dad's car. I saw it when he gave me a lift to school this morning. Maybe it fell out of your bag. Yeah, maybe. Five. Where are the two friends going to go first today? So, how about going to the museum before it gets too busy? Maybe we could go to the castle before we go there. It's too sunny to be inside a museum right now. All right, but we've got to use our theater tickets by today. Let's do that after we finish visiting the museum. Sure. Now listen again. So, how about going to the museum before it gets too busy? Maybe we could go to the castle before we go there. It's too sunny to be inside a museum right now. All right, but we've got to use our theater tickets by today. Let's do that after we finish visiting the museum. Sure. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear a man talking about a course for teenagers who are interested in working on the radio. This year's radio camp is going to be at our radio station on 102 Golden Street. Our popular three-week summer camps are already getting full. We start on June 25th, but if you can't come then, there's another camp starting on July 16th and the last ones on August 6th. At camp, we'll teach you how to use radio equipment and to write a play for young actors. This summer, you won't learn how to write about the news. You'll meet the local journalist Luke Berry and a very well-known band who've just finished a world tour. We'll tell you who it is when you join. Everyone gets a t-shirt to wear at camp. All you need to bring are your own snacks and some great ideas. And wear comfortable clothes like sneakers and shorts. If you book before midnight, you'll get a discount. $476 is the usual price, but now it's half price. $238. To get this special offer, visit our website. Now listen again. This year's radio camp is going to be at our radio station on 102 Golden Street. Our popular three-week summer camps are already getting full. We start on June 25th, but if you can't come then, there's another camp starting on July 16th 
and the last ones on August 6th. At camp, we'll teach you how to use radio equipment and to write a play for young actors. This summer, you won't learn how to write about the news. You'll meet the local journalist Luke Berry and a very well-known band who've just finished a world tour. We'll tell you who it is when you join. Everyone gets a t-shirt to wear at camp. All you need to bring are your own snacks and some great ideas. And wear comfortable clothes like sneakers and shorts. If you book before midnight, you'll get a discount. $476 is the usual price, but now it's half price, $238. To get this special offer, visit our website. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Edward talking to his friend Michaela about dance classes. Hi Edward, do you go to the dance school for your dance classes? Hi Michaela, they're too expensive there. My classes were at the sports centre last year, but they moved to the college. Oh, OK. And how often do you have classes? Once a week. And it's an eight-week course. You've been to four classes already, haven't you? That's right. Is your teacher good? She quickly shows us what to do instead of explaining, which is OK most of the time. She laughs when we make mistakes, but in a nice way. And what's really nice, if you do something well, you get a little packet of sweets. Oh, nice! What do you wear for your classes? When I wore shorts and a t-shirt, they weren't warm enough, and trainers and a sweater aren't good for dancing in, so I just wear comfortable trousers and a shirt. Me too. Do you enjoy your classes? Yes. Remembering the different dances isn't easy, but I always have fun with my classmates. I wish I could choose the music. <laughs> It's not very good. Now listen again. Hi, Edward. Do you go to the dance school for your dance classes? Hi, Michaela. They're too expensive there. My classes were at the sports centre last year, but they moved to the college. Oh, OK. And how often do you have classes? Once a week. And it's an eight-week course. You've been to four classes already, haven't you? That's right. Is your teacher good? She quickly shows us what to do instead of explaining, which is OK most of the time. She laughs when we make mistakes, but in a nice way. And what's really nice, if you do something well, you get a little packet of sweets. Oh, nice! What do you wear for your classes? When I wore shorts and a t-shirt, they weren't warm enough, and trainers and a sweater aren't good for dancing in, so I just wear comfortable trousers and a shirt. Me too. Do you enjoy your classes? Yes. Remembering the different dances isn't easy, but I always have fun with my classmates. I wish I could choose the music. <laughs> It's not very good.
That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a brother and sister talking about a present for their cousin Ben. Why did the girl choose the bag? Did you manage to get Ben's birthday present? Yes. I wanted to get a towel he can use after swimming, but they were all very expensive. I thought about a football poster, but the ones in the shop were enormous, and his room's small. What did you get? A bag. He hasn't got anything to put his sports kit in. Great, great choice. Now listen again. Did you manage to get Ben's birthday present? Yes, I wanted to get a towel he can use after swimming, but they were all very expensive. I thought about a football poster. But the ones in the shop were enormous, and his room's small. What did you get? A bag. He hasn't got anything to put his sports kit in. Great choice. Seventeen. You will hear a boy talking to a friend about a computer game. Why doesn't he buy it now? How about this computer game? It's forty-five pounds. I really loved playing it at my friend's house, but that's too much. But it's worth it. I borrowed it from my cousin and didn't want to give it back. I'd love to get it, and then we can play it for as long as we like. But I'll have to save up for it. Now listen again. How about this computer game? It's forty-five pounds. I really loved playing it at my friend's house, but that's too much. But it's worth it. I borrowed it from my cousin and didn't want to give it back. I'd love to get it, and then we can play it for as long as we like. But I'll have to save up for it. Eighteen. You will hear two friends talking together. Where are they? What a fantastic view! You can see all the way down the valley to the lake. Look at the sheep we passed when we were near the farm. They look like white flowers from up here. You know, I wanted to stop when we came out of the wood. But I'm glad we kept going. So am I. Now listen again. What a fantastic view! You can see all the way down the valley to the lake. Look at the sheep we passed when we were near the farm. They look like white flowers from up here. You know. I wanted to stop when we came out of the wood, but I'm glad we kept going. So am I. Nineteen. You will hear a girl, Kate, talking to her father. What's Kate's father going to do? Have you seen this advert, Dad? Which advert? No, I haven't. I hardly ever read magazines. It says one lucky reader and their family can win a trip to Canada to see where they film my favorite TV series. You have to be over eighteen to take part. 
Then I'll put my name on the form. I'd love to visit Canada. Now listen again. Have you seen this advert, Dad? Which advert? No, I haven't. I hardly ever read magazines. It says one lucky reader and their family can win a trip to Canada to see where they film my favourite TV series. You have to be over 18 to take part. Then I'll put my name on the form. I'd love to visit Canada. Twenty. You will hear two friends talking about last weekend. What did the boy do? How was your weekend? Did you buy that book you need for school? I was going to, but Jack came to see me on Saturday. He was absent from school last week, so he needed to borrow my notes. It was too late to go out afterwards. Never mind. I'm passing that shop later, so I can get it for you. Thanks. Now listen again. How was your weekend? Did you buy that book you need for school? I was going to, but Jack came to see me on Saturday. He was absent from school last week, so he needed to borrow my notes. It was too late to go out afterwards. Never mind. I'm passing that shop later, so I can get it for you. Thanks. That's the end of part four. Look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear Beth talking to Jack about a class trip. What will each person bring on the trip? It's only two days before the class trip, Jack. Yes, everyone's agreed what they're going to bring. I'm bringing my good camera so we can get some group photos. Great! And I know Edward's bringing something to carry all the stuff to eat, which will be really helpful. Good idea. And what about you, Beth? Well, I think it'll be nice to have some music. I've decided to pack a small drum because my guitar is too heavy. Yes, of course. And Dan's offered to bring some things for playing games. Some bats and balls, I think. That'll be great, but not everyone wants to do activities that make you tired. Yolanda's thought of that. She has lots of art equipment, which we can all share. Good idea. And I was talking to Gordon about maybe bringing a board game. What do you think? Actually, I discussed that with him, and we thought we should have something where everyone takes part answering questions in teams. So he's going to prepare and bring that. Now listen again. It's only two days before the class trip, Jack. Yes, everyone's agreed what they're going to bring. I'm bringing my good camera so we can get some group photos. Great! And I know Edward's bringing something to carry all the stuff to eat, which will be really helpful. Good idea. And what about you, Beth? 
Well, I think it'll be nice to have some music. I've decided to pack a small drum because my guitar is too heavy. Yes, of course. And Dan's offered to bring some things for playing games. Some bats and balls, I think. That'll be great. But not everyone wants to do activities that make you tired. Yolanda's thought of that. She has lots of art equipment, which we can all share. Good idea. And I was talking to Gordon about maybe bringing a board game. What do you think? Actually, I discussed that with him, and we thought we should have something where everyone takes part. Answering questions in teams. So he's going to prepare and bring that. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.
tattoo. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. Which photo is the boy showing his mother? Do you like this photo, Mum? I took it when I went for a walk with Grandpa last night. It's amazing. It doesn't look like it was taken at night. Yes, the moon was very bright. Aren't the trees beautiful with snow on them? They certainly are. Did you see any animals? Lots of rabbits, but they ran away before I could take their photo. Now listen again. Do you like this photo, Mum? I took it when I went for a walk with Grandpa last night. It's amazing. It doesn't look like it was taken at night. Yes, the moon was very bright. Aren't the trees beautiful with snow on them? They certainly are. Did you see any animals? Lots of rabbits, but they ran away before I could take their photo. Two. Where does the girl's mother work? Your mum works at the railway station, doesn't she, Katie? She's changed her job. She's a receptionist in a big new hotel now. Do you mean the one next to the museum where my dad works? That's right. I'm going to see her there after school. Do you want to come? Yes, please. Now listen again. Your mum works at the railway station, doesn't she, Katie? She's changed her job. She's a receptionist in a big new hotel now. Do you mean the one next to the museum where my dad works? That's right. I'm going to see her there after school. Do you want to come? Yes, please. Three. What did Helena's class do in their history lesson? Did you have a good day at school, Helena? Yes, Dad. We had to write a story about an old king in our English lesson. That was fun. Oh, that sounds more like history. Yes, we had that today too. We watched a film about life in a castle. After that, in art, I chose to do a picture of the castle. Here it is. Look. Great. Now listen again. Did you have a good day at school, Helena? Yes, Dad. We had to write a story about an old king in our English lesson. That was fun. Oh, that sounds more like history. Yes, we had that today too. We watched a film about life in a castle. After that, in art, I chose to do a picture of the castle. Here it is. Look. Great. Four. Which new sport is the girl going to do today? I like your board, Daisy. Are you good at it? I don't know. This is my first time. I'm okay at skateboarding, so I hope it won't be too different. Well, at least it's softer when you fall on snow. Have you ever been surfing? I'd like to. My brother's got a surfboard, but he won't let me use it. Now listen again. 
I like your board, Daisy. Are you good at it? I don't know. This is my first time. I'm okay at skateboarding, so I hope it won't be too different. Well, at least it's softer when you fall on snow. Have you ever been surfing? I'd like to. My brother's got a surfboard, but he won't let me use it. Five. What did the boy eat for breakfast? I'm just getting your lunchbox ready for you to take to school, Peter. I've given you a cheese sandwich. Would you like to take some grapes as well? Can't I have a piece of melon? Sorry, but you had the last piece for breakfast. You can have a pear if you prefer. OK, thanks, Mum. Now listen again. I'm just getting your lunchbox ready for you to take to school, Peter. I've given you a cheese sandwich. Would you like to take some grapes as well? Can't I have a piece of melon? Sorry, but you had the last piece for breakfast. You can have a pear if you prefer. OK. Thanks, Mum. That is the end of part one. Look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear a teacher telling a class about some homework. I want to give you some information about your homework. You have to do it for our lesson on Friday. I know I'll see you on Wednesday, but you'll need more time. For your last homework, you found out about birds. But now I'd like you to get all the information you can about bees. They're really interesting. You can start by reading something from your textbook. It's on page 67. But don't go on to pages 68 and 69. We'll read those together in class. After you've read the page in your book, you can learn more online. There's a good website called www.nature.com. Okay? There's also one called www.world.com, but that's less useful, so don't bother with that. Then I want you to write a paragraph about what you've learned. Last time, you wrote 150 words, but now I'd like 275, please. One more thing. You don't need to include any photos. But I'd like you to do a drawing. Any questions? Now listen again. I want to give you some information about your homework. You have to do it for our lesson on Friday. I know I'll see you on Wednesday, but you'll need more time. For your last homework, you found out about birds, but now I'd like you to get all the information you can about bees. They're really interesting. You can start by reading something from your textbook. It's on page 67, but don't go on to pages 68 and 69. We'll read those together in class. After you've read the page in your book, you can learn more online. There's a good website called www.nature.com.
okay? There's also one called www.world.com, but that's less useful, so don't bother with that. Then I want you to write a paragraph about what you've learned. Last time, you wrote 150 words, but now I'd like 275, please. One more thing, you don't need to include any photos, but I'd like you to do a drawing. Any questions? That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Connie talking to her friend Tom about an activity club in the school holidays. How are you, Connie? Really busy this school holiday, Tom. I go to a sports club every day. It's in the park, a few few kilometres from the town centre. Can anyone go? At any age? You can go to the club at nine, but... I don't think it's so good for children that age. You really need to be at least 11. And maybe it's less fun for people over 13. Do you like the club? Yes. Each day I do something new. Something difficult that the coaches think I can do, even if I'm not sure. And I've started to make some friends. Well. I'm bored playing football with my dad. I want to go out on a boat. I've never done that. I'm a strong swimmer. Yes, you can do that at the club. Oh, good. If I join, do I need to take anything? Just something to dry yourself with. You don't need to bring any money because lunches are included. I'll need some new sports clothes. Do you know the Star Cinema on Bank Street? There's a store across the road that sells all those things. It's on the road to the hospital. Ah, oh, excellent. Now listen again. How are you, Connie? Really busy this school holiday, Tom. I go to a sports club every day. It's in the park, a few kilometres from the town centre. Can anyone go? At any age? You can go to the club at nine, but I don't think it's so good for children that age. You really need to be at least eleven. And maybe it's less fun for people over 13. Do you like the club? Yes. Each day I do something new. Something difficult that the coaches think I can do, even if I'm not sure. And I've started to make some friends. Well, I'm bored playing football with my dad. I want to go out on a boat. I've never done that. I'm a strong swimmer. Yes, you can do that at the club. Oh, good. If I join, do I need to take anything? Just something to dry yourself with. You don't need to bring any money because lunches are included. I'll need some new sports clothes. Do you know the Star Cinema on Bank Street? 
there's a store across the road that sells all those things. It's on the road to the hospital. Ah, oh, excellent. That is the end of part three. Look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear two friends talking about going swimming together. Why doesn't the girl want to go swimming? Are you coming swimming after school? I've got enough money for both of us. If you haven't got any. I've got plenty, thanks, but I don't want to make this headache worse. Oh, come on! Is it because we've got some homework? You can do it afterwards. I can, but I'm getting a cold, so I really don't want to go. Now listen again. Are you coming swimming after school? I've got enough money for both of us. If you haven't got any, I've got plenty, thanks. But I don't want to make this headache worse. Oh, come on! Is it because we've got some homework? You can do it afterwards. I can, but I'm getting a cold, so I really don't want to go. Seventeen. You will hear two friends talking about a school trip. Where are they going to go on the school trip? Are you looking forward to the trip? Yes, it's going to be nice seeing the animals outside in the fresh air. Not like the last trip we went on. I agree. I like dinosaurs, but looking at all those bones got quite boring after a while. It did, and maybe we'll be able to play football in one of the fields. Now listen again. Are you looking forward to the trip? Yes, it's going to be nice seeing the animals outside in the fresh air. Not like the last trip we went on. I agree. I like dinosaurs, but looking at all those bones got quite boring after a while. It did, and maybe we'll be able to play football in one of the fields. Eighteen. You will hear a teacher talking to his class. What's he talking to them about? As you know, Mrs. Barrett is having a baby soon, so from next week you'll have a different teacher for geography for a while. Mr. Kennedy will be taking you instead. You know him from last year. You'll now have geography on Thursdays at ten thirty instead of nine thirty. In the same room as on your timetable D eleven. Now listen again. As you know, Mrs. Barrett is having a baby soon, so from next week you'll have a different teacher for geography for a while. Mr. Kennedy will be taking you instead. You know him from last year. You'll now have geography on Thursdays at ten thirty instead of nine thirty, in the same room as on your timetable D eleven. Nineteen. You will hear a boy, Oscar, talking about running. 
How does Oscar feel now? How are you, Oscar? I'm training for a race, getting up at 5 a.m. every day and running round the track 25 times. <laughs> that isn't interesting. <laughs> I like running. It's just I'd really love to get some sleep instead of coming to school. Coach says it's an important race and I must practice more. He worries too much. Oh. Now listen again. How are you, Oscar? I'm training for a race, getting up at 5 a.m. every day and running round the track 25 times. <laughs> that isn't interesting. I like running. It's just I'd really love to get some sleep instead of coming to school. Coach says it's an important race and I must practice more. He worries too much. Oh. Twenty. You will hear a boy, Alex, talking to a friend about a new T-shirt. Why didn't Alex buy the blue and white T-shirt? Hi, Alex. Did you get the red T-shirt? No. They only had very big ones left and I wanted a small one. I found a really nice blue and white striped one, but I couldn't afford it. Hope I get it as my birthday present. Oh, yeah. Then I found a nice green one that fits me. Great. Now listen again. Hi, Alex. Did you get the red T-shirt? No. They only had very big ones left and I wanted a small one. I found a really nice blue and white striped one, but I couldn't afford it. Hope I get it as my birthday present. Oh, yeah. Then I found a nice green one that fits me. Great. That's the end of part four. Look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear two friends, Luke and Claire, discussing plans for a school show. Where will each person put a poster for the show? How can we sell all these tickets for the school show, Luke? Why not put posters in different places around town? I put one at the museum last week. Can you help, Claire? Of course. I'm going to the post office before I go shopping, so I'll ask if I can put one there. Great. Paul's still a member of the sports centre. So he can take a poster there. I'm meeting him in the cafe later. I'll ask him then. What about James? His apartment building's next to a big shop. He can ask the staff to put one there. Good idea. What about Joe? He needs to borrow books for his studies. So next time he goes to get some, he can ask there. Maybe you can ask him when you catch the bus together. OK. Karen will help, I'm sure. She lives in one of those flats near the sports centre. Let's ask her to put one where she lives so all her neighbours see it. Good idea.
Now listen again. How can we sell all these tickets for the school show, Luke? Why not put posters in different places around town? I put one at the museum last week. Can you help, Claire? Of course. I'm going to the post office before I go shopping, so I'll ask if I can put one there. Great. Paul's still a member of the sports centre, so he can take a poster there. I'm meeting him in the cafe later. I'll ask him then. What about James? His apartment building's next to a big shop. He can ask the staff to put one there. Good idea. What about Joe? He needs to borrow books for his studies. So next time he goes to get some, he can ask there. Maybe you can ask him when you catch the bus together. Okay, Karen will help. I'm sure. She lives in one of those flats near the sports centre. Let's ask her to put one where she lives, so all her neighbours see it. Good idea. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.
key for schools one. Tests one to four. Published by Cambridge University Press and Uckles, 2019. This recording is copyright. CD two. Test three. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. What does the boy's mother need to buy for him? Sanjay, you go back to school next week. Are there any clothes I need to buy you? Uh, I think I've probably got enough trousers, Mum, but my shoes are too small. Why didn't you tell me that before? And is your coat OK? Yeah, it's really comfortable. Now listen again. Sanjay, you go back to school next week. Are there any clothes I need to buy you? Uh, I think I've probably got enough trousers, Mum, but my shoes are too small. Why didn't you tell me that before? And is your coat OK? Yeah, it's really comfortable. Two. What's the girl trying to make? That's an interesting model, Andrea. It's hard to get it right. I made a great horse last time. This is more difficult. The neck's too long. It looks more like a camel than a sheep. Why don't you put some white wool on it? Great. That'll make it clearer what kind of animal it is. Now listen again. That's an interesting model, Andrea. It's hard to get it right. I made a great horse last time, but this is more difficult. The neck's too long. It looks more like a camel than a sheep. Why don't you put some white wool on it? Great. That'll make it clearer what kind of animal it is. Three. What was the weather like at the weekend? Did you go to the beach at the weekend? Yeah, the weather was perfect for sailing. I know, it was really windy. It's a shame the sun didn't come out because I wanted to go swimming. At least it didn't rain like the TV weatherman said and it was quite warm. Now listen again. Did you go to the beach at the weekend? Yeah, the weather was perfect for sailing. I know, it was really windy. It's a shame the sun didn't come out because I wanted to go swimming. At least it didn't rain like the TV weatherman said and it was quite warm. Four. What will the boy have for lunch? What would you like for lunch? Can I have some of those sausages in the fridge? We're having those for dinner, I'm afraid. I could make you an omelette. There are lots of eggs. OK, I'd prefer that to sandwiches. I have those nearly every day.
Now listen again. What would you like for lunch? Can I have some of those sausages in the fridge? We're having those for dinner, I'm afraid. I could make you an omelette. There are lots of eggs. OK. I'd prefer that to sandwiches. I have those nearly every day. Five. Which subject won't they study next year? What's your favourite subject? I don't know. Maths, probably. Maths is so hard. But I know we have to study it every year till we leave school. It's great we don't have to do geography again next year. Oh, but geography was really interesting. I hope biology is good next year. Biology? I've always wanted to study that. Now listen again. What's your favourite subject? I don't know. Maths, probably. Maths is so hard. But I know we have to study it every year till we leave school. It's great we don't have to do geography again next year. Oh, but geography was really interesting. I hope biology is good next year. Biology? I've always wanted to study that. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. You will hear a student talking to her classmates about a quiz. I'm here to talk about the school quiz next month. We've decided to have it on the 24th of September. Last year, the questions were on geography, capital cities and things like that. This year, they're on history, so you need to start reading about that. We like at least 12 teams, and if you want to take part, you need to decide who you want in your team. Each one must have five members. If you have only four people, I'm sorry, but you won't be able to join the quiz. This year, we're very lucky because we have an Excellent prize paid for by the local shop Levinson's. I know many of you buy your books there. The winners get a cup, like the one footballers get. If you'd like to enter, please give your names to our new teacher, Mr Hartley. That's spelt H A R. T. L. E. Y. The quiz will start at 6.30, but you need to get to the school at 10 past 6, so you'll have enough time to get ready. Now listen again. I'm here to talk about the school quiz next month. We've decided to have it on the 24th of September. Last year, the questions were on geography, capital cities and things like that. This year, they're on history, so you need to start reading about that. We like at least 12 teams, and if you want to take part, 
you need to decide who you want in your team. Each one must have five members. If you have only four people, I'm sorry, but you won't be able to join the quiz. This year, we're very lucky because we have an excellent prize paid for by the local shop Levinson's. I know many of you buy your books there. The winners get a cup, like the one footballers get. If you'd like to enter, please give your names to our new teacher, Mr Hartley. That's spelt H-A-R-T-L-E-Y. The quiz will start at 6.30, but you need to get to the school at 10 past 6, so you'll have enough time to get ready. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Teresa talking to her friend Daniel about a school writing competition. Hi, Daniel. Have you done your writing for the competition yet? Hi, Teresa. I finished it yesterday. Wow. What, what did you write about? That movie we saw last week. What about you? That film was great. I couldn't decide between writing about my grandma's life or writing about the island I went to on holiday. I've chosen the first one. There's so much to say. You can't write as many words as you want. It's from 500 to 1,000, isn't it? It's 500 at the most, actually. Mm. And how did you feel after you finished? Uh, I wasn't tired. Just worried people might say it's really bad because I don't think what I've written is very exciting. It'll be fine. If you win, what will you use the tablet for? Everything I use a laptop for, and I'll be able to read books on it. You have a good chance of winning. You're great at writing stories. Well, I'm better at that than just describing places. But I'm not sure my spelling's good enough. Now listen again. Hi, Daniel. Have you done your writing for the competition yet? Hi, Teresa. I finished it yesterday. Wow. What did you write about? That movie we saw last week. What about you? That film was great. I couldn't decide between writing about my grandma's life or writing about the island I went to on holiday. I've chosen the first one. There's so much to say. You can't write as many words as you want. It's from 500 to 1,000, isn't it? It's 500 at the most, actually. Mm. And how did you feel after you finished? Uh, I wasn't tired. Just worried people might say it's really bad because I don't think what I've written is very exciting. It'll be fine. If you win, what will you use the tablet for? 
everything I use a laptop for, and I'll be able to read books on it. You have a good chance of winning. You're great at writing stories. Well, I'm better at that than just describing places, but I'm not sure my spelling's good enough. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a boy talking to a girl about his plans for the weekend. Who is the boy meeting? I'm meeting Danny this weekend. You met him once when my uncle had that big party. Remember? Well, I remember the party. We went with your brother, but I can't remember meeting anyone called Danny. I'm sure you did. He's my uncle's son. Oh, why didn't you just say he's your cousin? I remember him now. We talked about football. Now listen again. I'm meeting Danny this weekend. You met him once when my uncle had that big party. Remember? Well. I remember the party. We went with your brother, but I can't remember meeting anyone called Danny. I'm sure you did. He's my uncle's son. Oh, why didn't you just say he's your cousin? I remember him now. We talked about football. Seventeen. You will hear a girl talking to a boy. What's the girl surprised about? Isn't it amazing? It's November and it's still about twenty degrees. I mean, you could just wear a t-shirt today. Yes, it's incredible. I'm normally in a coat at this time of year. It's nice that the teachers let us take our jackets off in class. They usually do. Yes, I didn't wear mine at all today. Now listen again. Isn't it amazing? It's November and it's still about twenty degrees. I mean, you could just wear a t-shirt today. Yes, it's incredible. I'm normally in a coat at this time of year. It's nice that the teachers let us take our jackets off in class. They usually do. Yes, I didn't wear mine at all today. Eighteen. You will hear a girl leaving a message for her friend Adam. What does she want Adam to do? Hi, Adam. I wanted to ask you a favour. I don't need to borrow anything, so don't worry. In maths today, when the teacher was giving us our homework, I wasn't really sure what she meant, but I bet you understood. You always do. Could you tell me what we have to do, please? Okay. I hope you get this message. Now listen again. Hi, Adam. I wanted to ask you a favour. I don't need to borrow anything, so don't worry. In maths today, when the teacher was giving us our homework, I wasn't really sure what she meant, but I bet you understood. You always do. Could you tell me what we have to do, please? Okay. I hope you get this message. Nineteen. 
You will hear a teacher speaking to a group of pupils on a trip to a river. What activity are they going to do? Right, everyone. A few words before we set off. There will be lots of people along the river, including people fishing. So please don't make too much noise. Please stay on the cycle path. Be careful of the people who are walking. Remember that not all of them will hear you coming up behind them. Ride past them slowly and carefully, please. Now listen again. Right, everyone. A few words before we set off. There will be lots of people along the river, including people fishing. So please don't make too much noise. Please stay on the cycle path. Be careful of the people who are walking. Remember that not all of them will hear you coming up behind them. Ride past them slowly and carefully, please. Twenty. You will hear two friends talking about a film they've just watched together. What did the girl think about the film? What a great film! Yes, but in the scene in the castle, you could hear the music more easily than the actors' conversations. It really needed to be quieter. I suppose they should turn the volume down a bit. Anyway, I knew what was happening. Did you guess the end of the story? I did. Now listen again. What a great film! Yes, but in the scene in the castle, you could hear the music more easily than the actors' conversations. It really needed to be quieter. I suppose they should turn the volume down a bit. Anyway, I knew what was happening. Did you guess the end of the story? I did. That's the end of part four. Look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty one to twenty five now. You have fifteen seconds. You will hear Adam talking with a friend about the sports their friends do. What sport does each friend do now? What sort of sport do you like doing now, Adam? I go cycling every day. Lots of our friends do different sports, don't they? Yes. Isn't Vicky really good at hockey? I saw her play in a match at school. She was brilliant. Not any more. She spends all her time at the pool now. She's entering a competition soon. She's really fast. I think she'll win. Fantastic! And Oliver's been on a trip with his sports club. All his family loves sports. His mum's in the national tennis team, but he played golf on the sports club trip. And you know our friend Karen. She wants to learn how to swim. But she spends all her time practicing volleyball, so she doesn't have time. What about Mike? I never see him now. He's always on the tennis court. His teacher wants him to think about joining the hockey team. He's such a fast runner. And Ellie's busy too. She started snowboarding at that centre. And she's already forgotten about basketball. Really?
Now listen again. What sort of sport do you like doing now, Adam? I go cycling every day. Lots of our friends do different sports, don't they? Yes. Isn't Vicky really good at hockey? I saw her play in a match at school. She was brilliant. Not any more. She spends all her time at the pool now. She's entering a competition soon. She's really fast. I think she'll win. Fantastic. And Oliver's been on a trip with his sports club. All his family loves sports. His mum's in the national tennis team, but he played golf on the sports club trip. And you know our friend Karen. She wants to learn how to swim, but she spends all her time practicing volleyball, so she doesn't have time. What about Mike? I never see him now. He's always on the tennis court. His teacher wants him to think about joining the hockey team. He's such a fast runner. And Ellie's busy too. She started snowboarding at that centre, and she's already forgotten about basketball. Really? That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test. Te four. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. Who is the boy's sister? Is that your sister over there? Do you mean the girl with long black hair? No, my sister's got black hair too, but it's a lot shorter than that. Oh, right. Look, there's my sister. She's standing next to the girl with blonde hair. That's her best friend, Elsie. Now listen again. Is that your sister over there? Do you mean the girl with long black hair? No, my sister's got black hair too, but it's a lot shorter than that. Oh, right. Look, there's my sister. She's standing next to the girl with blonde hair. That's her best friend, Elsie. Two. Why didn't the girl go to the school dance? I didn't see you at the school dance. Don't tell me you stayed home to study. I worked really hard because I wanted to go. Science was especially difficult. My brain was full of facts. It almost hurt. So then? Well, my mom was giving me a lift to school when the engine suddenly stopped, and it didn't start again. Now listen again. I didn't see you at the school dance. Don't tell me you stayed home to study. I worked really hard because I wanted to go. Science was especially difficult. My brain was full of facts. It almost hurt. So then? Well, my mom was giving me a lift to school when the engine suddenly stopped, and it didn't start again. Three. Where's the girl going first? See you later, Dad. Oh, bye. Are you going out now? The film doesn't start until six o'clock. I know, but Susie's mum's taking us for a burger in town, 
And then she's giving us a lift to the cinema. We're going to get the bus back. I'll be home about half past eight. Is that okay? Yes. Have fun. Now listen again. See you later, Dad. Oh, bye. Are you going out now? The film doesn't start until six o'clock. I know, but Susie's mum's taking us for a burger in town, and then she's giving us a lift to the cinema. We're going to get the bus back. I'll be home about half past eight. Is that okay? Yes. Have fun. Four. Which program will the two friends watch together? Let's watch the program about the wild bears living in the forest. I've already seen it. I loved the music to that show. When the bears are happy, the music is too. Then how about that new one where people have to bake cakes and stuff? They're like amazing artists. Oh, that's an even better idea than watching the music channel. Now listen again. Let's watch the program about the wild bears living in the forest. I've already seen it. I loved the music to that show. When the bears are happy, the music is too. Then how about that new one where people have to bake cakes and stuff? They're like amazing artists. Oh, that's an even better idea than watching the music channel. Five. Where will the girl go tomorrow? Dad, can I go to the cinema tomorrow? Actually, you've got something more important to do than watch a film. You borrowed some library books for a reason. Yeah, tomorrow's the last day I'll be able to collect the different types of leaves for my biology homework. At least I've read about them and know what to look for. Good. Now listen again. Dad, can I go to the cinema tomorrow? Actually, you've got something more important to do than watch a film. You borrowed some library books for a reason. Yeah, tomorrow's the last day I'll be able to collect the different types of leaves for my biology homework. At least I've read about them and know what to look for. Good. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date or a time. Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. You will hear a girl called Sophia leaving a message for her friend. Hi, it's Sophia. I'm so happy you're coming on holiday with me and my family. Dad says come to our house at quarter to two. We don't need to leave until till quarter past, so you don't have to come at 1.30 like we said before. Your mom asked about the hotel. It's called the Stafford. I'll spell that for you. S T a double F O R D. 
It's got a swimming pool, which looks great, but there aren't any bikes to borrow. The journey's three hours. Remember, my mom's making some snacks for us, and I've got some games I can bring. But why don't you bring a book? We might get bored. I know it's raining at the moment, but I saw on TV that it's going to be cloudy while we're there. The battery is very low on my phone, so if you want to call me back now, ring my sister's phone. It's zero double seven six three two one four. See you soon. Now listen again. Hi, it's Sophia. I'm so happy you're coming on holiday with me and my family. Dad says come to our house at quarter to two. We don't need to leave until quarter past, so you don't have to come at one thirty like we said before. Your mom asked about the hotel. It's called the Stafford. I'll spell that for you. S T A double F O R D. It's got a swimming pool, which looks great, but there aren't any bikes to borrow. The journey's three hours. Remember, my mom's making some snacks for us, and I've got some games I can bring. But why don't you bring a book? We might get bored. I know it's raining at the moment, but I saw on TV that it's going to be cloudy while we're there. The battery is very low on my phone, so if you want to call me back now, ring my sister's phone. It's zero double seven six three two one four. See you soon. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds. You will hear Maria talking to her friend Alex about visiting a science museum. Hi, Maria. I haven't seen you since Tom's party on Sunday. Hi, Alex. It's only Tuesday today. I went on a school tri trip to the science museum yesterday. I didn't know it was open on Monday. I've already been there a few times with my aunt and uncle. It's not far from my house, but I'd really like to go with my class or a group of friends. Oh. Right. How did you get there? It's a bit far to walk from school, isn't it? We went by coach. Lucky you. We usually cycle there. It's good exercise. What did you like best at the museum? The museum guide showed us a model of the moon, but it wasn't as good as the film that we saw about space travel. Did you go to the cafe? They do great chocolate cake. I know. I thought their cakes and ice creams looked great, but we had to hurry, so I just had a glass of juice. I'd really like to go there again. Now listen again. Hi, Maria. 
I haven't seen you since Tom's party on Sunday. Hi, Alex. It's only Tuesday today. I went on a school trip to the science museum yesterday. I didn't know it was open on Monday. I've already been there a few times with my aunt and uncle. It's not far from my house, but I'd really like to go with my class or a group of friends. Oh, right. How did you get there? It's a bit far to walk from school, isn't it? We went by coach. Lucky you. We usually cycle there. It's good exercise. What did you like best at the museum? The museum guide showed us a model of the moon, but it wasn't as good as the film that we saw about space travel. Did you go to the cafe? They do great chocolate cake. I know. I thought their cakes and ice creams looked great, but we had to hurry, so I just had a glass of juice. I'd really like to go there again. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a teacher talking to his students. What does he tell them? I realize most of you are busy practicing for sports day, so you don't have much spare time at the moment. And I want to support you as much as I can. So, we'll have a maths test this term as usual. But I'll give you longer to prepare for it. The new details are on the board. Now listen again. I realize most of you you are busy practicing for sports day, so you don't have much spare time at the moment. And I want to support you as much as I can. So. We'll have a maths test this term as usual, but I'll give you longer to prepare for it. The new details are on the board. Seventeen. You will hear a girl, Emily, talking to her mum in the kitchen. What's Emily's mum doing? Mom. What's for supper? Good question. I just got back from the mall. I'd rather not go to the store. Let's see what we have in the cupboard. Um, there are eggs and flour, oil, six tomatoes. I'll make pasta with tomato sauce. Awesome. I'll help you. Now listen again. Mom, what's for supper? Good question. I just got back from the mall. I'd rather not go to the store. Let's see what we have in the cupboard. Um, there are eggs and flour, oil, six tomatoes. I'll make pasta with tomato sauce. Awesome. I'll help you. Eighteen. You will hear a girl talking to her friend Dan. What job does Dan's mum do? Dan, I saw your mum at the museum yesterday, wearing a staff uniform. I didn't realize she works there. Yeah. She started working in the gift shop a couple of months ago, but now she shows people round the museum. She was standing by the reception where visitors buy tickets. Probably waiting for her next tour group. She loves working there.
Now listen again. Dan, I saw your mum at the museum yesterday wearing a staff uniform. I didn't realise she works there. Yeah, she started working in the gift shop a couple of months ago, but now she shows people round the museum. She was standing by the reception where visitors buy tickets. Probably waiting for her next tour group. She loves working there. Nineteen. You will hear a mother and daughter talking together. What will they do today? How's Grandma? Is she getting better? She's just phoned. Actually, the nurses said she's well enough to go home. Great. Have you got any stamps so I can send her a card? No. But that's a great idea. Let's get some now. When you write, tell her we'll visit soon. I'll book the train tickets online tonight. Now listen again. How's Grandma? Is she getting better? She's just phoned. Actually, the nurses said she's well enough to go home. Great. Have you got any stamps so I can send her a card? No, but that's a great idea. Let's get some now. When you write, tell her we'll visit soon. I'll book the train tickets online tonight. Twenty. You will hear two friends. Talking about something they did together at the weekend. What did they do together? Did you have a good time? I did. I've never been in a little boat like that before. I'm glad we could practice together before we took part in the race. It was strange being on the water amongst so many big buildings. I'm used to doing it on a lake in the mountains. It's a shame we forgot our picnic. Now listen again. Did you have a good time? I did. I've never been in a little boat like that before. I'm glad we could practice together before we took part in the race. It was strange being on the water amongst so many big buildings. I'm used to doing it on a lake in the mountains. It's a shame we forgot our picnic. That's the end of part four. Look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five now. You have fifteen seconds. You will hear Zara telling her friend about the presents she got for her birthday. What present did she get from each person? Hi, Zara. Did you get a lot of presents for your birthday? Yes, lots of great things. Dad gave me this amazing tablet. Awesome. What did your mum give you? Well, she usually gives me a book, but this time she got me this. Look, we're going to go camping in the summer, and it's big enough for two people to sleep in. Oh, great! And what did your brother give you? He got me something to put on my bedroom wall. 
It's got my favourite basketball player on it. Didn't your grandma give you a bracelet last year? Yes, and this year she gave me something very useful. Here it is. I can put my school books in it. It's really easy to carry. Right. And what about your sister? She gave me this. It'll keep me warm in winter. It's black and purple, the colours of my favourite basketball team. Is that all? No. I also got this from my uncle. It's exactly the right size for my arm. He's just come back from America, and he got it there. Now listen again. Hi, Zara. Did you get a lot of presents for your birthday? Yes, lots of great things. Dad gave me this amazing tablet. Awesome. What did your mum give you? Well, she usually gives me a book, but this time she got me this. Look, we're going to go camping in the summer. And it's big enough for two people to sleep in. Oh, great! And what did your brother give you? He got me something to put on my bedroom wall. It's got my favourite basketball player on it. Didn't your grandma give you a bracelet last year? Yes, and this year she gave me something very useful. Here it is. I can put my school books in it. It's really easy to carry. Right. And what about your sister? She gave me this. It'll keep me warm in winter. It's black and purple, the colours of my favourite basketball team. Is that all? No. I also got this from my uncle. It's exactly the right size for my arm. He's just come back from America, and he got it there. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.